Welcome everyone to this special edition of Cisco News Now. I'm Taryn here with my colleague AB in San Diego, California at Cisco Live 2025. And we'll be covering all the news and announcements from our customers, our executives, and even a special guest reporter. Can't wait. Let's dive into what was announced on day one. This week at Cisco Live, we're probably announcing more innovation at one event than we have in a very long time, and it's all about the people, the people, the people. We have incredible teams in our product organization. G2 is doing an amazing job, and they're super excited about the technology transitions that are happening and what's going on with AI, and that combination leads to great innovation. It gives me so much pleasure and so much joy to introduce this concept of agentic ops. Basically what agentic ops is, is the ability to have cross-domain visibility and management. We wanted to actually build a tool inherently from the ground up that was a multiplayer collaborative tool. And that's going to be powered by a purpose-built AI model for networking. What we are announcing for the very first time is a completely reimagined way that AI is going to help you manage your entire estate, and it's called AI Canvas. It's a completely reimagined user interface. In fact, it is a generative UI. That means that it generates dashboards on the fly in a multimodal way. With all these security innovations you just saw, there's one thing you take away, is Cisco is building the most comprehensive security platform for Agentic AI. If there's no one else who even comes close, we are gonna to continue to keep innovating at the velocity, and that velocity and the rate of change is gonna keep getting increased. 
The team is hungry to make sure that we serve you right, and the team is hungry to make sure that you are secure in everything that you do. We had a special guest catch up with G2 Patel, President and CPO. We are very lucky to have tech YouTuber David Bombal here. David, how's it going? Terra and Cisco Live has been fantastic as always. Really enjoying my time here once again, but also enjoyed speaking to G2 and others telling us about what Cisco have been up to and where the industry is going. Check out my interview with G2 and how Cisco are changing the industry. We start thinking about solving problems that we up, up until now have been conditioned to say they're unsolvable because now we've got this complete unlock that can happen with AI, and that's unripe. So, first we had ChatGPT, that was like a huge change. Now we've got Agentic AI. What's coming? Is it um, quantum? Is it uh, I think humanoids? quantum will be there, AGI. And by the way, the interesting part is, what seemed like magic two years ago with ChatGPT just seems like a normal, everyday occurrence. Sending it back to you, Taryn. Thanks, David. It's always great to hear from you and G2 directly. I agree, Taryn. Let's now dive into the announcements shared on day two. Let's go into the details of what we've innovated in the AI Ready data centers. And as we think about data centers, we are experiencing one of the largest expansions of data centers in human history right now. And it's, it's a um, phenomenal exponential curve that's only getting faster every single day. We need to simplify the experience with fewer interfaces and more validated in, uh, integrations. So we're providing you with a single and intuitive experience. You'll get a hyper-personalized view into your entire Cisco environment, where you can see your install base, the adoption progress, risk analysis, and you get integrated troubleshooting as part of that as well. You can actually generate dashboards programmatically, you can see your software renewal timelines, you can see vulnerabilities, and you can see misconfigurations as well.
That was a great recap. Now let's dive a bit deeper into Agentic AI with Liz and Tony. Agentic CX is not just about better service. It will certainly provide you that. It's an opportunity to grow with you, to learn from you, and to adapt with your needs as your needs evolve and the world continues to change. We also got to catch up with Fran Katsudis and talk about Cisco's latest hybrid work survey and how Cisco's technology can make the difference. That was great. We have covered a lot of ground, but we still have one more thing to share. AB, what's next? Well, we caught up with one of our biggest customers, PepsiCo, and I spoke to Rajat Aurora, who is the global head of networks and OT infrastructure at PepsiCo. You know, it's always great to hear from Cisco executives and customers, and it was really fun hearing about the new innovations that Cisco has put out. Couldn't agree more. And that is a wrap on Cisco Live 2025. For more on everything we've talked about, head to newsroom.cisco.com, and we'll see you in the next video.